DJ Benny James. Welcome to the podcast. Today's show is going to be called The Manager's Special. Now, why is it called The Manager's Special? Because Mr. Omar is in the house. What's up, Mr. Omar? What's up? And Omar, we have this little running joke that Omar is my manager. Right, Omar? All day long. And it's funny, we have a story. When did we first meet, brother? When did we first meet? Uh, 2000, in the state of Hawaii. Was it that long ago? Wow. 21 years. And you've been on the show once before. Yeah. And you told the story before, but just in case anybody missed it. Basically, there was like a little crew of DJs on the island of Hawaii Islands. And we play old school hip hop, R&B and all that kind of stuff. And each of the DJs was assigned somebody to help them out and to do warm up sets for them and everything else. And you were assigned to me, apparently. They said uh, that you're going to be hanging out with me and DJing with me. Correct. And for some reason, I didn't get a memo. So here's this dude, like, coming to all of my events and, like, right by my side. He's like, can I carry those speakers? Can I help you out with this? Can I help you? And I'm like, man, this guy's really nice. <laughs> Little did I know. <laughs> Was I supposed to be paying you? I don't know. I didn't even get paid for none of these gigs. <laughs> I was just happy to be there. Just being recognized is enough. So that was hilarious. Maybe I owe you money. Maybe I owe you money from then. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing but French here, brother. Let's see. Anyway, so we're going to hang out for the next hour and a half with uh, Mr. Omar. We'll play some good music for you. And guess what? It's not my selection. It's your selection today. Yes. Thank you. So you chose some songs. Some I've never even heard of before. Some of them are artists that I know, but I just don't play those particular tracks. And I've been in the game for a long time. You have. How did you first start getting into music? Some old dude that uh, kept me out of trouble decided that he needed some help with his equipment. Uh, took me and another brother in named Michael. And there it was. That's how I got started. I was 14 years old. 14 years old. Hanging out in the clubs. Oh my God, that explains a lot, Omar, that explains a lot. <laughs> so today we've got a little bit of jazz, we've got some classic soul, uh, we've got a little bit of up-tempo, a little bit of down-tempo, so we're going to mix up the flavor for you. I went so far back, you probably got listeners that's not even over some of these songs that's been ready to be played. Oh, we got some mature listeners, don't worry about that. We've got some youngsters too, though. But let's start it off with this one, some GQ. And uh, this is called I Do Love You. And I didn't even have this in my collection. Omar was like, come on now.
just an oldie but goodie. Now, GQ had a very, very famous song that was one of his massive hits. Do you remember what that was called? We used to do Disco Nights. Disco Nights, Rock Bounce, or something like that. I can't remember the full Disco name. Disco yeah. So you're playing this for one of your friends as well. You're one of your friends. Uh, this one goes out to uh, Billy Robinson down in Waco, Texas. All right, Waco, Texas. What's up? I love the show right now. I love the show right now. So where were you born and raised, Omar? Born in North New Jersey, raised in Washington, D.C. Okay, okay. Southeast. And you still... And Northeast. And you still live in uh, D.C. right now, right? Still live in D.C. right now. And he comes up to visit me, not to see me, but just to get his hair cut. <laughs> he got his hair cut today. <laughs> and Mr. Jeff Money, is that the best kept secret, man? He did a good job today on your head, man. Sure did. All right, so tell the people about this one. What's this one called? That's Gene Kahn. Don't let it go to your head. It went straight to mine. That drink you got yesterday at the bar, that went straight to your head. <laughs> he was wobbling to the restroom. That was only one drink. Gotta tell you, I love that groove, man. Sweet as the nuts. Going back to this manager's thing, I think uh, actually Doc J, actually, our good friend, I think he started calling you manager because he was really supporting whatever I did. 
the radio stuff, the club stuff. You really like to push what I was doing. Even today, you got some of my business cards. You give them out to people. So thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you do for me and getting the word out about the podcast and everything that I do. No problem. So thank you, man. More than well. Also, thank you for your service because you're a veteran, right? Yes, I am. Army, right? Yes, sir. What was the best thing about being in the military for you? Being stationed in the state of Hawaii. Okay, we won't go into why. <laughs> Let's just say it's got something to do with the opposite gender. <laughs> no, and serving my country. <laughs> yeah, right. Serving yourself, you mean. <laughs> so this one is called I Want to Thank You. And we do. We want to thank you, Omar. This is Frankie Beverly and Maze. More than welcome. I never played this one. But I like this groove.
Wow. I cannot believe I did not have that on my computer. I know I've got loads of maze in my collection downstairs, but I did not load it up to my computer yet. Thank you. So glad Thank you. you brought that one to my attention. Thank you, sir. You're more than welcome. <laughs> this next song is called Hanging Downtown. And I know that uh, Omar used to hang downtown a lot. At Rumors Nightclub, one of the places. <laughs> right, Omar? <laughs> Yes, and this is one of my favorite songs. For the people that don't know, who is this? Who is this? It's Cameo. It's Cameo, that's right, Cameo. For the people that know classics like Word Up, Single Life, Attack Me With Your Love, those kind of tracks, this is going a little bit further back, a little bit deeper for you. It's the only one that sits there next to the silvery moon I don't feel too optimistic But I know I trade the world For what I am wishing would come true I know you told me more than twice Of the fate that I've been dreading But if you walk right up to me tonight Would you doubt that I'd be ready? So I walk the city street Wishing you were here with me Falling in love again Baby, until then Hanging downtown I'll be hanging Some roads making residents into bit for war domiciles. Never time for what is needed, so I'll grab a bite to eat, then maybe grab a smile. So hard to give it up, you know I tried so. Many times before In a price of sacrifice To see you walking through the door Girl, I'm trying to make you see I'd rather have you here with me Falling in love again Baby, I'm Baby. Taking-
tune, man. Tune. Love it. So you working right now? Are you retired fully? What's going on? Retired fully right now, but I'm looking for work. You're looking for what? What kind of work are you going to do? What are you, what are you looking federal for? Federal government work. Oh, okay, like con- contracting type stuff. Straight uh-huh. federal government. Okay, okay. If anybody's got a job for home, I'll let him know. <laughs> Who's this man? Heat Wave. Track is called what? Where did I go wrong? I didn't have this one either. track is called Where Did I Go Wrong? Omar, where did you go wrong, Ram? <laughs> no, I mean, what I mean is, do you have any life regrets? Do you have any life regrets? Of course I do. Let's hear one of them. Come on, confess, confess. Never. Nah, what do you mean, never? Never. I know, but I, I do have regrets. I know you said once you wish you didn't leave Hawaii, right? You wish you stayed there? That's one. Oh, okay. But one regret I know you don't have is having uh, kids and having... I met your son a, f- a few weeks back. Very, very nice to meet him. How old is he now? He's 22. 22 years old. And what? I can't say enough about that young man. He's a nice kid, man. Nice Love kid. Love you, son. He's real handsome, too. How did, how did he get handsome? He looked like his dad. Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name, man? What's his name? His name is Ian Omar Deshaun Boyles. Wow, okay. Ian, what's up, my man? Track is called My Love. Earth, wind, and fire. We'll be 
it man track is called sunshine by the enchantments that's like the soul connoisseur selection right there man trust me the whole show is omar's selection and you can see how old this boy is by how far his music is going back pretty much ancient (laughs) ancient dinosaur (laughs) but you realize been listening to this kind of music since I was 14. Yeah. But it's uh, most of this music, man, it's real positive. It's about love, relationships, you know? Exactly. Love it, man. Got to give a big shout out to my man, Eric, over in Hawaii, DJ EP, man. Man, thank you. Do you know people that you can just call up and they can give you answers to things if you're like, <laughs> you can't find the answer to something? That's that man right there, man. His family's so sweet. And he was always there to help me with any DJ questions I had, man. He used to run a DJ store in Hawaii. And I tell you what, I miss that, man. I miss that just one-on-one help. And so, Eric, miss you, my brother. Aloha, man. All right, here's some Blackbirds for you. The track is called Soft and Easy. Another one I didn't have in my collection. Oh, my God, Omar, come on. Oh, school. He's had too many drinks. He's shouting in the microphone. (laughs) Slow down on the coffee. Well, uh, why don't we just stay together?
All right, we're going to switch up the flavor a little bit here. Go a little bit uh, Latino on you here. I don't know what this is. Is it Bossa Nova? I'm not too sure what kind of flavor this is. But by an artist called Malo. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to murder the track if I say it. And Omar's giggling over here. He can't even talk right now. That's that's okay. <laughs> but I really enjoy the tone. Yeah, I know you've been playing this one for a long time. You've shown it to yes. me a few times. Yes. So finally, we get to play it for you. Enjoy. So do you know what this track is called now, Mr. Omar? Yes. What's yes. it called? What's it called? Suavezito. And I don't speak none of the language, but I can sing that song. Okay. Do you know what it means? Do you know what the translation means? It means softly. So, so now you know what you're singing about. I'm speechless. I'm going to play another one um, along that same flavor, actually, along that same flavor. Track is by War. All day music. Love it. All day, all day, 
Thanks for tuning in with us today, you guys. Thank you for pressing play. If you're listening on Love Soul Radio, don't forget to download the app, the iPhone or the Android app at lovesoulradio.net. It's most definitely the best way to listen to the station, all right? Holding on. Let's take it up a notch right here. Another one from Omar's collection. The track is called Holding On, LTD, featuring Jeffrey Osborne. TD man, it always got some good bass lines, I tell you. Alright, the next track, Omar, you took me right back to my teenage years, let me tell you. You brought me back to those little house parties. Remember those little house parties? I sure do. With the boys and the girls doing their little slow dances and stuff. You remember that? Sneak it, sneaking it in. <laughs> sneaking it in. Parents in the other room trying not to let them see you get the little kissy kissy going on so this is one of those songs and i can't believe i didn't have it in my collection i'm like hold on i've heard this like a million times and i don't have it in my collection calm down but it was one of those slow dances you know we just go round and round and round and your hands goes down <laughs> lower and lower and you get slapped <laughs> yeah Gregory Abbott's Shake You Down. Girl, I've been watching you from so far across the floor now, baby. That's nothing new. I've watched you so many times before now.
Yes, I do. Now give me just a little Funny, every time I get to feeling this way, I wish I had you near me. I want to reach out and touch you. I can't stop thinking of the things we do. The way you call me, baby, when I'm holding you. I shake and I shiver when I know you're near. Then you Wow, that's a flashback, my man. Flashback. Crazy. For me too. I know, right? So what's your favorite, you think? You think jazz, soul, hip-hop, R&B? What's your favorite? As I always say, as my T-shirt says, I love it all. You love it all. All right. Yeah, you got yourself a special T-shirt, mate. <laughs> I said, what do you want on your T-shirt? Love reggae, love, love jazz. What do you want? He said, love it all. I love it all. So how's your other white friend doing, by the way? <laughs> Eric's doing great. <laughs> What's up, Eric? <laughs> How you doing, Eric? We're going to send something out to Eric sooner or later. I'm going to send this one out to Wifey, man. Can't believe I've never played this before. Tavares. I don't think I've played it. I really don't. Never had a love like this before. Isn't my Wifey a good Wifey? She's a good Wifey, isn't she, Omar? Oh, you sure? She's a great person. You sure? You're a very lucky man. Thank you, sir. At last, I'm past the fantasy. You're into my reality. Oh, yes, you are. More than just a love token. Hey, girl, we got it working. Thank you. 
Let's play another one by Maze, one that you chose, called Family Man. I chose it because a lot of family members didn't get together this year or last year. Right, because of COVID. So, exactly, so here we are. And this reminds us how important family is. Exactly. Well, Faye, Faye said something to me, actually, and I saw something on Facebook the other day, and somebody was saying, the biggest lie we're ever told is that uh, family is only blood. And, uh, man, family... Family's where you find it. Family's where you find it. Man, I need to make a t-shirt with that on it. I love that. Family is where you find it. Check it.
Mr. Ritchie, Omar, what do you prefer, the, when he was with Commodores or Solo? Solo, all the way. Man, his career, man, has spanned so many decades. Wow. Still doing stuff today. Gotta respect him, man. He looks great, too, for his age. Wow. Sure does. Hope I look like that love, at age. Love will find a way. So we got the next one up for you by the Stylistics. I hardly had any stylistics, but here you go with another one from Omar. This is called uh, Hurry Up This Way Again. Why did you choose this one? It was a request. Okay, okay. So I decided to go ahead and put it in. All right, all right. Okay.
that one before just downloaded it about an hour ago thank Billy for that one oh what's up Billy next one I'm gonna play is another one of your selections called a long hot summer's night by James JT Taylor I didn't realize that he was the lead singer of Cool and the Gang. I don't know why. Yes. I just, I, you yes. know, I don't keep up with these kind of things, everybody's names. Uh, but you knew that. And it's funny, I got a little story with this one, actually. Uh, I remember, you know, some songs you just remember where you were when you when you heard the album or the song? Hell <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. This is one of those songs, I, when I first purchased my first apartment in London, it was in a little area called West Strayan, which is pretty close to Heathrow Airport area in the uh, outskirts of London. And... Um, um, yeah, I just remember driving around. I bought this album, and literally, like, there was five or six songs on this album that I really, really like. But the first two songs on the album were my favorites, and this is one of yours as well, which is the first one on the album. So enjoy this one, man. See, long night, love, moonlight, under the moon, baby. This you and me. Snow is all gone, and summer's here.
We're running out of time, unfortunately, only enough time for one more song. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us, myself and the manager, Omar. <laughs> you enjoy yourself, Omar? Had a great time. You want to see. You want to say hi to your friends? You want to say hi to your to all my battle buddies out there, all my friends. You know who you are. You know. So don't forget, Omar's looking for work. So if there's any uh, pornographic filmmakers out there, just let us know. He can get right back into the business for you. We're making love. <laughs> That's a nice bass line on that tune, though, man. I love that. If you want to find out more about me, you can always go to the website, djbennyjames.com. Don't forget the radio station, lovesoulradio.net. If you want to become a supporter, a sponsor, investor of the podcast, you can always go to djbennyjames.com and click on support. It's easy as that. Big shout out to my music pool people too, music pool members. They're getting those bonus tracks each and every week now. Cool stuff. All right, we're going to close it out with a little bit of jazz. And I know that Omar, one of your absolute favorite jazz artists is Paul Hardcastle, right? Sure enough. Boney James too, right? And Brian Coverstone. Okay. But let's play this one by Paul Hardcastle. It's called... Tropic Cool, not tropical, it's Tropic Cool. So thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Press and Play. And I'll be back next week with some more good music for you. Until then, be safe, be well, be blessed, and aloha. Mm-hmm.